that's who did most of the protests wow. because the young people were all protesting somewhere else. And these ladies uh, uh, held the line on the construction of this airport. So we spent some time with them overnight, as a matter of fact, out in the field because as long as they were on that property uh, construction, people couldn't come on the site and do any work. So that was an experience. And uh, I've traveled all, all over Japan. Uh, well, we, um, we were running out of time, so I wanted you to try to talk a little bit about your, your journey to uh, uh, Sweden and Denmark and how okay. you uh, were stopped at uh, the German airport. Oh, yes. Well, after my um, uh, stay in Japan, instead of being able to come home, I was told to uh, go on to Sweden, so uh, we I we already had a chance to go home. I had to keep keep flying, <laughs> so I uh, uh, went straight to Scandinavia to Sweden to start because we had uh, solidarity committees there that sold our paper, received our paper, and sold it uh, on a weekly basis and sold buttons and stuff and raised money. For, to try to help with a lot of our legal problems that we had back here at home. Right. And so I moved around um, uh, Sweden, uh, Denmark, uh, went up to Finland and places like that. And How uh, were you received in those places? Uh, they um, put together uh, uh, meetings that had massive amounts of people. And they, uh, you know, were very receptive uh, to uh, my lecture on uh, the Black Panther Party because everybody was interested in, you know, why these, these poor people from the, these poor guys from the ghetto and girls from the ghetto uh, could put together such a massive movement against such a powerful. Um, organization, military uh, organization as the United States. In other words, uh, how, where did these guys get the audacity to do that? <laughs> you know? Yeah, and, and the uh, courage. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, learn about our programs, how we were trying to uh, see that our community survived through our survival programs and, and stuff like that. And uh, What happened? Fast forward to Germany. Okay. Uh, well, first I went down to Algeria. Uh -huh. We had a uh, chapter of the Black Panther Party down there. Right. And uh, Elders Clearer, of course, was the uh, uh, leader of that uh, particular uh, branch. And so I went down to visit those comrades and, uh, and to see Elders. And, and Kathleen Cleaver was there with him? Uh, at that particular time, she was in France. She, oh. she had work to do with uh, the people in France uh, who were trying to negotiate some things to get elders there or possibly home. So she was doing political work uh, on that level. Uh, and in the meantime, while I was in Algeria, uh, I got phone messages, communications from uh, I We've guess about a minute and a half left. student organizations in Germany. So uh, I uh, was going to go to Germany, and then I got word that if I come to Germany, I would be arrested or deported or something. So I contacted headquarters and asked them what did they want me to do. They left it up to me. So I said, people invited me. I'm going. You know, dare to struggle, dare to win. And so I went, and uh, when my plane landed in Frankfurt, I was not allowed to disembark. Uh, some agents came onto the plane and uh, escorted me off of that plane to a waiting plane. Uh, and uh, they had a waiting plane for you. Waiting on the tarmac. Wow. To put and where me did on they it. take you? Very quickly. It took we were me to Paris. Out of time. They took me to Paris, and and, and that's uh, where you met uh, Richard Wright's uh, widow. Really, right, 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 absolutely. The famous author. Yeah, and uh, one thing about the aftermath of uh, that Q 
kidnapping, as I call it. Got one minute now. Uh, there were massive demonstrations all over Frankfurt. All right. A reaction to that. Right. Um, well, I we're we're almost clean out of time. I want to thank you, <laughs> Big Man, <laughs> and uh, thank you, uh, BJ, for coming on right. uh, this program. And uh, any last words from you, BJ? Yes. Uh, anyone that wants further information about the Black Panther Party, go to It's About Time bpp.com we have videos interviews we have a host of information okay. for you so and check out the website thank you both very much right. uh thank um right. steve leader for board hopping and thank you viewers for tuning in to freedom is a constant struggle tune in next week pierre lebossier will be here to talk about haiti and be sure and come to court august 10th to see about cisco uh one of the san francisco eight and make sure they drop the charges. Power to the people.